What is up, YouTube? My name is Ghostface, and welcome back to Sailor Moon, our Rosalina and Luma amiibo. Now, this is actually gonna be the finale for Sailor Moon, sadly enough, because I've actually really enjoyed training her. It's actually been a very good experience, because, like, Rosalina was one of those characters where I've always wanted to train her, and we're actually at the end. And it's been a very fun ride. She's been really fun to train. The results are actually really impressive. I'm surprised what the AI is capable of. And I actually have faith that she'll be a very good contender for fighting tournaments. Now, don't get me wrong, I do want to make more adjustments off camera with her. Like, there's stuff I want to do, like go to tech school or like capitalize on a couple of her moves and make her a little bit better in that aspect. But just from what she's done alone, like, she's capable of really good things, and the Luma himself is just a very good factor of that, too. Because even if she's aware of the Luma or not, it's still a factor that amiibos have to be aware of when they fight her. So, like, if I was just a random amiibo and I was fighting her, I'd have to be very cautious of smash attacks coming from that Luma. And I don't think there's many AIs that'll actually, like, be smart enough to know that, realistically. Not to mention, she's got amazing aerials. What sucks is, like, I think Rosalina in this game is definitely a lot more underrated than what she should be. Even speaking for myself, like, after training Sailor Moon... I'm really tempted to, like, play Rosalina a little bit myself. Just because it's actually really fun. She's got a great recovery, too. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, that's gonna kill. I was just about to say it, too. Her ultimate isn't the best. How did I not- oh my god. I'm- I'm- <laughs> I don't even know why I went Rosalina to begin with. She's definitely fine in her playstyle. If anything, I gotta work on the roster, but... She's- her ultimate is alright. I don't know how I didn't make that recovery, but her ultimate is okay. The hard part about her is that she has one of those ultimates where the AI will still hit you, even though she gets the enemy in the ultimate which could result in her actually getting you free. Which isn't a good thing, because, like, if I'm fighting her and I get stuck in her ultimate and she hits me out of it, that's probably not going to go well, because I won't get the explosion. And I'll probably make her lose fights in the future, to be honest. I don't know if I can adjust that, but I will be trying. Just because I do want to run more experiments with her off-camera, just to, like... She's still fighting me, and she's... Oh, my... Mm. Hey, you little... Really? I was already dead! Alright, I'm going hard as beach. Hold on. Oh, she took the turn up. She doesn't even pick it up either. Oh, yeah, no, she picks it up. Did she just summon it, or does she get to hold on to it? I can't tell. She's... Oh, my God, I knew that was going to happen. She's still swinging with the Luma. She knows. I'm actually really impressed with how well she can handle items. If we ever do an item tournament again, she's actually gonna be a really good contender, and that's gonna kill me. I don't know if you guys saw that, but she was trying to hit me out of it. She didn't successfully do it, but she was trying. 
for characters like Obsidian, that's definitely going to be an issue. Oh, she tried to spike me. See, look at her. Look at the little Luma. It's swinging. I'm annoyed that didn't connect. To be fair, I don't play Peach often. I'm not really familiar with her moveset that much, but... Yeah, no, she more than definitely destroyed me. That was a three stock. You are true waifu. This is the new queen. I'm sorry, Aresia. Sailor Moon is now going to be the queen. And Blossom. And Obsidian. I'm sorry, this is going to be the new queen. I got a gut feeling about it. Just for the record, I am not 100% sure if she can take Obsidian, but it'll definitely happen in the future at some point, I can promise that one. I just don't see her... Like, I don't know, I don't see how that matchup can go well for her, but we'll definitely try it out in the future. Damn it. Krom's one of those characters where, like, I can go hard against a player because I lose my filter. And what I what I mean by that is, like, with an amiibo, I have a filter of, like, not doing certain things because I want the amiibo to learn well. And the certain things I don't want to teach it are, like, very caveman type of fighting styles. Because I know Crazy Squid hates this, but I do it all the time to him. Whenever I play Krom, I just go crazy, just go forward air, forward air, into like, up, up special for the suicide kill, and it works. Oh, god, am I gonna live? Yeah, no, okay, we're good. How heavy are you? God damn, Krom. Even when she was all the way down. What I like about her is that she's doing a lot of, like, offstage fighting. Like, she's not afraid. I thought she would be worse because of that recovery, but honestly, she's actually, like, really... She's capable of, like, actually fighting me on the edge. And as soon as I mention that, my girl just spiked the hell out of me. All right, let me try some cheese. Let me try something. Going random is fine, but I want to give her optimal picking. Let's do just a normal battlefield stage. <laughs> it was either going to be that or final destination, but let's see if you can take on my Bowser probably can, but it'll give you experience for Alexius. And after this one, I'm either gonna do Ridley or Palatina. Just for the experience. She's gonna have, oh my god, she's gonna have such an advantage on heavyweights. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but that Luma is definitely gonna be a factor. And you spiked me. Oh my god. Screw it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the punch.
Ooh, you... No, no. no. I should've waited. Oh my god, that took a lot of mashing. Uh, if you guys don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I just might be going crazy. If you heard a lot of button mashing there, Bowser's recovery goes higher the more you mash it. I know for a fact that's a thing in Smash 4. I don't know about this game. I'll be fair. I did not do my homework. It's just out of habit. That's so brutal. Alright, we're completely even. Come on. I can take you. Up B to win. You lost your Luma. Good follow ups. Oh, my God. <laughs> she did not expect that. And the up air. As soon as I got my ultimate, she up aired me. She knew. Maybe I should just go right to my mains because you're like. She's on another league entirely. Like, she's definitely A-tier material. Uh, I hope I get the good song. I want the red stage with the right song. Because I'm going to go hard. Alright. Let's try it. No mercy. Going all out. And this is not the song I'm gonna... Oh, no. Oh, she almost didn't make that. <laughs> that was a bad input. With... Flashbacks. All right. All right. Good trade. Good trade. She. She is more than aware of that Luma. How did she get out of that, but the Luma took the full hit? I love the fact that she's calling him back, too. She's actually trying good tech on her part. She's actually trying to use him to his full extent. Oh, if I got the grab, I would have been able to recover. Treating it like an actual player now. I'm trying to separate her from the Luma. Ooh, that was not a good read on my part. I don't want to finish it. I don't want to finish it with a final match. I have to. If there's opportunity to spike, I have to do it. I'm sorry. I feel bad, because that that final smash got me the win. That was given to me. In my eyes, if I run into a situation like that, I give it to the amiibo. That I don't feel that's a good victory on my part. I'll go one more. I'll go one more, because now she can actually adapt to Ganon a lot better. 
And I'm not... I Again, I know that match was just like... That was a given. Just because of the final smash. If I didn't have it, that would have been an alternative ending. I thought she was going to go for a spike. I had to do it. Read me like a book. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You read me like a book. All right. <laughs> that was a bad input on my part. How did that miss? I saw the sword go into her. She went in for that back air. That's... That's well-deserved. Alright, so she can hold her ground. And again, after this video, I'm gonna go off-camera and train her fully for the roster, and I'm... I'm actually really looking forward to this one, because this one, like... I love the dynamic of, like, having two characters like that. That's why I really like the Ice Climbers, too. Or just, like, alternative ways of fighting, like, I really like Shulk's concept, or... Uh, what's another one? God damn it. The, um... The hero. I almost forgot- <laughs> I almost forgot his name. What? I'm putting it- hello? Okay, so that was almost terrifying. I- <laughs> My controller didn't want to remember it can scan amiibos, so I almost lost that progress we made, but we managed to save, we're back, and yeah, this is actually the end of Sailor Moon. After this, she'll be actually in live streams and tournaments from now on. So yeah, I do want to thank everyone for watching this series. This is actually one of my personal favorite amiibos we've trained in a while, and just the training session was extremely fun, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like! And if you want to see more of Sailor Moon in action, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Amiibo content. And if you do, we will see you in the next video.